after much contemplation and discussion, I am directing the city legal department to withdraw the subpoenas issued to the five Houston pastors. The mayor of Houston backing off of her controversial bid to subpoena pastor sermons. And it's likely no coincidence that her change of heart comes after thousands of Americans answered a call from Governor Mike Huckabee on this channel to send her their sermons and their Bibles. And joining us right now from Santa Rosa Beach down in Florida is the governor himself. Good morning to you, Mike. Good morning. Well, we were talking about this case uh, a week or so ago where, uh, because uh, she is trying to defend Houston's uh, equal rights ordinance, she was asking for all the sermons from all the pastors and anything that regarded her as well. But there's this little thing, the separation between church and state we hear about all the time and religious liberty, and we talked about it, and you were furious. Well, I was, Steve, and I'll tell you why. Because uh, government has no business demanding of pastors that they cough up their sermons or their correspondence with church members to satisfy some government official who is un uh, unhappy and upset because somebody dared challenge uh, the, the way that she heavy-handedly stopped an election. And a lot of people don't seem to understand. This is about the mayor overruling the city clerk who had certified the uh, petitions and said there was going to be an election to overturn this uh, transgender ordinance. Mm -hmm. And the, the mayor just decided, no, we, we're not going to have an election. I'll just say that those signatures right. weren't valid. Th this is an outrage. I mean, it's, it's the kind of thing that ought to scare the daylights out of people all over the country, not just in Houston. And for people who aren't familiar with this, part of the Equal Rights Ordinance would have allowed 40-year-old men to share restrooms with a, f a fourth grade girl, which didn't make a lot of sense. The pastor stood up for it. Governor, you feel like the, the mayor isn't going far enough, and you'd like a personal apology. I think she not only needs to issue an apology, but she needs to de declare that there will be an election, that the people have a right to vote on it. And if they lose the election, that's one thing. But for her to arbitrarily decide that she is going to overrule the city clerk, Anna Russell, who's been in office for 42 mm -hmm. years, uh, and decide that what she certified is not right, and the mayor and the city attorney just decide arbitrarily and capriciously that they're going to uh, say there won't be an election, uh, this is right. really at the very heart of America. We have a right to vote. We have a right, right. to have our, uh, our views held. And I think this mayor is on quicksand, not on solid rock constitutionally. She knows it, but it's not enough for her to say she's withdrawing the subpoenas. That's just a small mm -hmm. part of the outrageous behavior that she has done in trampling over the religious liberty and constitutional rights of really all the citizens of Houston, not just these pastors. Yeah, Governor. Uh Yo, know, we're out of time, but say, look, you've already made a difference. Let's see if you get that apology. I wouldn't be surprised if you get it before the day is done. Thanks so much for getting up with us this morning, and good luck over the weekend. Great. Great to be with you. All right. Yes, uh, next on our show.